I'm Kerry DeHart. I'm uh, now the CEO of uh, Willowbrook Construction. I was going to school from 1970 at OSU to 1974. I started out in mechanical engineering, uh, which I liked it okay and thought I'd always come back to DeHart Air Conditioning. But one summer, I worked on a big commercial project uh, doing the HVAC work and watched things. And I thought, I want to build the whole thing. And uh, so uh, I switched to uh, construction management. About the time I was graduating, maybe a couple of weeks before, my dad sent me a copy of a request for proposal from OCLA, which is now USAO. And that proposal was for construction management and they awarded it uh, to me. So that's how we started the company in 1974. Shortly after that, in 1976, two years later, the high school burned down. I was called in uh, to meet with the superintendent and the mayor, uh, I think four o'clock that, that morning. Rebuilding that high school, we did it very fast. We got them back in school. Matter of fact, they were back in part of it the next September and um, took us probably a year to do the rest. It was definitely one of those that you'll never forget. You know, next project probably I really remember was uh, when we moved into this building, we were asked to give a design build proposal for a big addition at Delta Fawcett. Biggest job we had ever done and we presented to the Delta Fawcett people right here in this building. And we had the plans completely finished, lump sum price, and um, they, they said, where have you all been? Uh, because we really went all out on it. Then we get a call that uh, tornado hit the Unirail tire plant in Ardmore. We want you on the job right now. And they said, we want you to start making steel tonight. One's work seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And I raised my hand, I said, there's no electricity here. I talked them into seven days a week, 12 hours a day. And it worked out good, and that was in May of 1995, and we had it completely finished by the next January. We're kind of known for uh, historical restorations and renovations. You know, we did the depot uh, downtown a long time ago. That was a very interesting project, and it really needed it. Chouche Hotel. Uh, Pat Brooks had asked me uh, to come in and help them. We basically had to rebuild the building from the inside out. It definitely was worth it, you know, with the historical uh, plus downtown Chick Shay. But we have so many people that have been with us for, you know, 30 to 40 years, and they, they are the company. And, and there's so many that are gone, too. You know, uh, Phil Burke, uh, an architect from Lawton, after we had done a few jobs under him, and he decided he wanted to come to work for us. He was tired of being his own boss. Buren Thompson was his first superintendent. He was great. Uh, Jan Duncan came with us in 1995, and she had a lot of experience in development and marketing. And We've got really good people. We've had good people, and we still have good people. My son Weston, he uh, grew up you know, working with concrete crew digging ditches, tying steel, pouring concrete. And then when he, when he went to OSU, we got selected by uh, Oklahoma State University to restore Old Central. And then at the same time, restoration of Murray Hall. When I was 55 years old, I made a, a, a game plan. And that was to bring Weston in to be president of the company. 10 years later when I'd be 65. So I, I transferred the company to Summer and Weston. It's fun to work with, uh, with your kids. I told both West and some before they came to the business, there's not a harder business than construction business. It, it's hard. But uh, the 50 years isn't about Kerry D. Hard. It's about everybody. We have great people. We have a great organization. We got people moving up. I'm very confident in all of them. The mindset that we are here to not only build buildings, but build relationships and build trust it's really about those satisfied clients and the pride and enjoyment we get out of building nice buildings. We have been blessed with being selected to build a lot of the nicest buildings in the state.